It needs united efforts of the citizens of the country. Good morning, one and all. I am Samiksha S. And I am Saumya P. Kumar from second year FBA. Priva Business School is established with a long-term vision to educate and empower the next generation of managers and leaders to build sustainable businesses which will not only enable them in achieving operational excellence but also explore new business models. With a highly trained faculty and an able management, Reva Business School provides its students a great learning environment that fosters intellectual, social and ethical development and thus enables them to pursue successful and fulfilling careers. I believe today's lecture series, which will be delivered by our distinguished Doyen, will help students holistically. As we embark on this Doyen lecture series, we set our sights on an ambitious goal, to learn from the masters of structure, efficiency and excellence, the armed forces. Today, we'll dissect the army way of institution building uncovering the core principles that propel individuals and organization to ever greater heights. Whether you are a seasoned leader, an aspiring entrepreneur, or simply someone who wants to reach their full potential, this lecture series holds valuable lessons for us all. So, let's tap into the power of discipline, teamwork, and strategic thinking, and together prepare to soar like the high flyers we were always meant to be. To enlighten us more, we have with us an outstanding personality. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our today's speaker, Major General Sudhakarji. We welcome you, sir. I extend my welcome to our Honorable Chancellor, Dr. P. Sham Raju, in absentia, who has been a continued pillar of strength to our school. I also extend my welcome to the Pro Vice Chancellor for Academics, Governance, Training and Placement, and the Dean of Reva Business School, Dr. Shubha A. Welcome you, ma'am. <laughs> Last but not the least, I would like to welcome all the faculty members, staff, and the students. Major General Sudhakarji, retired General Officer of Indian Army, active panelist on geopolitics, defense, and strategy in mainstream channels such as News X, Republic, CNN 18 and Times Now. Major General Sudhakarji, commissioned into the Mahar Regiment, boasts a remarkable military career marked by courage and strategic prowess. As a military observer in the United Nations mission in Sierra Leone, West Africa, he demobilized and disarmed rebels and children associated with fighting forces operating in volatile and hostile environment under the fragile security cover of the Economic Community of West African States and Monitoring Group in 1998. His valor and leadership were evident during active participation in Operation Vijay in Siachan Glacier in 1999, where he successfully repelled multiple hostile actions of the Pakistani army and destroyed enemy assets at 19,000 feet in extreme temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. Major General Sudhakar Ji's contribution extends to conducting successful surgical operations and utilizing hardcore insurgents in counter-insurgency operations in the Northeast and Kashmir Valley. Furthermore, he demonstrated his organizational skills and ability to mobilize troops during Operation Parakram following the terrorist attack on the Indian Parliament on December 13, 2001. His dedication and achievements reflects his commitment to defending national security and upholding the integrity of the Indian Armed Forces. Now, to felicitate our guest, I request Professor Pro Vice Chancellor to accompany the guest on stage. And Narayan Swami, sir, to accompany the guest on stage.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Now, I would like to hand over this session to Major General Sudhakarji. Over to you, sir. Can I have a mic? Yes. yes. Good morning, everyone. Jai Hind. You want me to expect you to stand there or stand here? At the center? Yes. What do you expect from me? It's not insurgents, eh? terrorists. I planned, conducted successful operations and destroyed terrorists in Jammu Kashmir Valley and insurgents in Northeast. Okay? So what do you expect me to cover? I know time is taking away very little time. Any one of you, just give me a punch word. What do you expect from me? Leadership. Leadership. Yes? Experience. Operations. Yes? Strategic? Strategy used. Okay. What? Anything else? Okay. Fine. The, the key component of today's talk, the students of Reva <laughs> University Business School, the faculties, the leadership, Dr. Shova, Dr. Narayan Swami, and the top rung leadership. If I do not mention about them, then I will be failing in my duties. The Chancellor, Dr. Sham Raju, if I am correct, and the Pro-Chancellor is Dr. Suresh, Umesh, Umesh Raju. Do pardon me, I'll take some time to get oriented. Okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to address you all to leave behind the legacy of testing the flavor. You know, when you eat something, go to a roadside vendor, okay, and you eat something very naki and spicy, chatpata bolte na, chatpata. That taste flavor lingers on your tongue, isn't it? I'm going to leave you behind something because the topic today, what is the topic? Yeah, we have this beautiful girl, come on. What is the topic? Stand up, you, one of you. Okay, I'll just make quick points, ladies and gentlemen. I know you are bright and brilliant and excellent in your academic profile. And I'm very happy and proud to be here amongst you. What do you understand by institution? What is the meaning of institution? Anybody sitting, I used to be a back row sitter all throughout my life. Because that gave me an opportunity to doze off after seven minutes. That must be happening even now, isn't it? I know, for seven minutes I want to share certain issues. Thereafter you can go to sleep. I'll make sure that you don't sleep. So what is the meaning of institution? <coughs> anyway, somebody just stand up, give your name quickly. Yeah, little louder. You want a mic? Louder, louder. You're louder than the mic. Don't worry. Yeah, Deepak. The institute is the temple of learning. Institute is the temple of learning. May I request you to give me a big round of applause? So this is what will not allow you to sleep after seven minutes. Deepak is not wrong. Anybody else would like to take a guess? What is institution? Let's have a young lady. There's so many of them. I find a high percentage of the girls here. Yeah, all Sir, boys I'm standing up. Why not the girls? You're the bright and brilliant. Ah. Sir, I'm uh, Sachin from second year MBSO. And the institution for me is the greater system which we put together for... Okay, please sit board. down. Sorry. Well done. Give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Do seven time. Just tell me if I'm going wrong. Institution has got a structure. Institution will have some kind of a goal, some objective. Institution will have some resources. Your classroom, seats, vehicles, assistant, team members. The institution also will have the core component. Who are the core component? The people. Ladies and gentlemen, the core component of any institution, any organization are the people, the HR. It is the central part of any kind of organization without which no institution can be managed. The army way of institution building 
depends on the institution building of the person, the people. So what is the institution building of the people? Let me have a girl. Yes. You didn't stand up. I gave you a chance, young girl. You're smiling. What is the meaning of institution building? Give a big round of applause. You are not wrong. Can we have somebody? Yes. Young girl. So you're the faculty member. From your looks, you look like a faculty member. Yeah. Why are you turning your neck? I'm looking towards you. Yes. What is it? What is that in the individual which if you build, the institution gets built. Achoo, she has come to her help. Achoo, you're handing over the mic? Give her a big round of applause so that she gets up faster. The time is very less. Have you understood the question? Yes, sir. If people are the center of an institution, then what is it that in the people you have to build so that the institution remains or sustains? Yes? Sorry? Values. Good, good point. What's your name, young girl? What's your name? Kusuma, you missed the bus. Give her a big round of applause. Now we come to you. What is it? What's your name? Centuria. From which place? Uh, Manipur, sir. Where in Manipur? Yes, sir. I have spent seven years in Manipur. Don't worry. I understand. That's why pointedly I said, you, you will get up. Give her a big round of applause. She said, ethics. You understand the meaning of ethics? Just to save in time, ladies and gentlemen, let me come to the core issue. Institution army way. We invest time and energy in character building. You understand the meaning of character? Anyone who can define what is character? I'm taking you slowly. Don't worry. Seven minutes, three minutes gone, four minutes left. What is the meaning of character? Ah, to start up and say, if you sit down, there has to be a teacher and student relationship, isn't it? Please stand up. Or in management school, you sit and talk? Do you sit and talk? I, I have done masters in management, don't worry. We used to sit and talk. Our professors, they used to serve us. That used to be the culture. Yeah, little louder. Personality. What do you mean by personality? Your name? Kirtana, sir. Kirtana. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody who understands the meaning of character? What is character? I've been hearing and reading so much. What is character? So simplistic uh, central point. What is character? If you invest time and energy and build character, it will not only build the human being or the HR, it will build the institution for eternity. What is character? Sir. Am I going in the right direction? Huh? Fine? Okay. What is character, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, your name first. Excuse me. My name is Grace Portula. Sorry? Grace. 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 Excellent. No, I'm here first year. Your smile is gracious then your, your name. Okay? Thank you, sir. Yeah, good. So character is like uh, behavior and your habits and clothes in it. Behavior and habits. Yeah, Please yeah. give a big, loudest, loudest applause to her. To seven time, ladies and gentlemen, character, you read sir. lots of books. Hello, sir, here. I'm Sandeep, first year MBA. I have to go at 10 o'clock. Huh? I would have given you a chance. You didn't get up. You should spring like a soldier. It's no. army institution. Yeah, okay, take the time. Sir, uh, character is a different, different knowledge and uh, within me and within different, different uh, bodies. That's it, sir. Give a big round of applause. None of you are wrong, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to share with you, will leave a chatpata type of you know, flavor in your tongue and the taste buds. You would have never expected such kind of things. Has anyone heard about care? Have you heard about honesty? You heard? How many of you have heard honesty? <laughs> left and right hand. The meanings are different, OK? If you raise your left hand, it has got a different. Your management graduates. Left hand means something, right hand means something. You know body language? 
I am an NLP expert, neuro linguistic programming. Do they teach you NLP? No. Do you know honesty? Honesty is 10 out of 10 or it is 1 out of 10? Either you have it or you don't have it. Am I correct? Next. Do you have courage? You have compassion? What is compassion? Do you have persistence? Do you have responsibility? How many things have I told you? Remember, just to save on time. When you have time, Google up. You will find lots of literature, lots of books. How do you define character? Okay. I have got seven post-graduation degrees. Okay, let me take the bottom line. Five post-graduation degrees. I am expert in Chinese language. I am an Indochina expert. But that doesn't make me a good human being. I, all of them I have got more than 75%. Not even once have I ever used any of these qualifications to come up to the rank where I have retired from. That doesn't mean you people will not study. Okay, genius. Genius is what? 99%? Bolo, na? Genius. 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. You haven't heard this? Are you hearing it now? Remember, genius is, there is no shortcut to hard work. Your diligence, your persistence, your serious effort to grow in life. There is no substitute. The basics are hard work. You have to study. You have to do well in whatever job has been given to you. That is the basic. But over and above the basic, character is very important. Honesty, compassion, care, courage, persistence, responsibility. I have added one more thing, deliberately. The faculty members are writing down, not the students. That is the difference. You people should be writing down first, then the faculty members. Why am I telling you about the character? Do you know what success is? First slide. Go next. This has got no meaning. You can read by, go to the Google, find out. I gave a talk in IIT, Roorkee, IIT, Kanpur, IIMs and all. I have been giving talks, giving talks in DC, Washington. First slide, Socrates. Socrates. First slide, Socrates. The picture of Socrates. Secret to success. Okay, close the slides, not required. Do you understand the meaning of success? What is the meaning of success? Stand up and say, say loudly, let everyone enjoy. I said picture of Socrates, if you have, show it. If you don't, just cut it out. No slides required, yeah. To have achieved something, not bad. Give a big round of applause. Okay. Little louder. I'm 64. If I can talk loudly and bring energy out from my belly, I'm sure you're half my age, less than half the age. You people should be ready to jump into the fire. We have crossed the timeline of seven minutes. Have you got the flavor of Chatputta? What is success in life? The army institution of leadership or the army way of institution building is based on the character development of an individual. Given the fact that there is a structure existing, there is a goal existing, there are resources available, and there is a legacy, there is a historical legacy which is carrying on for the past 200 years. You have to simply build up with your contribution. And there is some gentleman, a British educationist, his name is Mr. Burton Russell, you know, he said a very interesting thing. What did he say? He said, in the infancy stage, like River University is how many? 15 years old? 20? 20 years old. Let's call it infancy stage. You're still growing? Okay. In the infancy stage, institutions, they shape the character 
of the core component, you all. You are the alumni, you are the alumnus. The institution will share or the shape, the character of the students. And students after they pass out or during the course of the stay, you will contribute by transforming the institution. Can you understand what I am saying? Have you seen, have you understood the vicious relationship between the student and the institution? So similarly in army, we have a floating population. There are 14 lakh, now it has come down to 12 lakh of soldiers, 55,000 officers who come, serve for a particular period, thereafter go out. There is a certain <clears throat> strength of people who are available, who carry through, who pass the baton down or up with legacy points. The rule of law. Some formal, some informal. I'm sure you would be having, I'm ex India, we used to have an informal means of education. Middle of the night, we used to have punishment prayer, lifting up the bike, okay, and uh, taking punishment. Punishment, we used to make fun. You call it ragging. People call it punishment. We used to call it bathroom session. Nowadays, it's not there. The focus is on IT. There is an old saying that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. I'm sure you will have heard about it, isn't it? When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Unless you are robust in your mind, you will not be able to endure the challenges in life. The character building, the centrality of character building is how much of pain can you share and take the burden of others because your life is not meant for yourself. Your life is meant for others. Dedicate your life for others. That will give you immense joy and pleasure. I am not Swami Vivekanand, nor am I Sri Satya Sai Baba. But these are the learnings, these are the teachings of our culture. So the success, the character building will take you to success. What is the definition of success? Anyone can. Can you show the picture of Socrates if it is there? No. That is all you have. Okay, fine. Do you know who Socrates was? Anyone who says yes? Let me have a young lady, a girl student, Sandigam Gibney. Who was Socrates? Because after this, I'll stop. I'll be asking you questions. If you can define and understand the meaning of success, anyone? Bolo, himmat karo. 33% in parliament, women empowerment. It is a women-led government in India. Girls stand up, stand up to the occasion. What is success? What do you mean by success? Okay, I'll tell you a story. Just, just take it off, not required, just delete this. Just have a black screen. Just cut it out, not required. Okay, you want to keep this. Socrates was a philosopher. He's adamant that that has to be shown. Give you a big round of applause, I'm sure. Big round of applause. He's adamant that has to be shown. Socrates was a philosopher. From which country? From? Little louder? Little louder? More louder? Do you know he was a mad guy? You know? Do you know that there is no literature till such time his students, who was the student? Plato, who wrote something about him. There was a competition between Socrates and a little child. The child wanted to know what is the secret of success. He kept on nagging and nagging one day, two days, one month, three months, six months. Middle of the night, he went to Socrates' room. Because in good old days, there were no classrooms. There were moving rooms. Students used to follow the teacher. The little child broke open the door, went into Socrates' room, told him, you have been telling me that you will one day tell me the secret of success. Tell me. Six-year-old child, huh? Tell me, what is the secret of success? Do you really want to know? Yes, I want to know. Kyoki child, tomorrow morning, river, 
they were banned before sunrise. <coughs> Next day morning, so before sunrise, the child was there, Socrates came, so he caught the hand of the child and started walking into the river. One foot of water, two feet, beyond the knee, up to the waistline, up to the chest level. The child was just about four and a half feet tall. Socrates was a tall man. When it came up to his chest level, the child was virtually drowning. It had gone beyond the nose. Socrates saw the opportunity, put his hand on the head of the child, pushed him down, dumped him down into the water, held him inside the water for long. The child was actually swimming with breathlessness, beating about his hands and legs, trying to come out of the water. Socrates won't let go. He kept dunking the head of the child. Suddenly, Socrates saw that the boy, the child was turning blue. You understand turning blue means? So he let go. The child jumped out of the water and said, eh, eh, eh. Breathlessness, isn't it? So Socrates asked him, have you understood the secret of success? You know, you are playing with me, with my life. You almost about killed me. I'll tell my parents. I'll arrest you. You'll be put behind the jail. In any case, Socrates was going to jail. You tried a dirty trick with a small child like me. You haven't told me what the secret of success is. So he took him on the <coughs> arms. Hey, my little child, what did this, what did you want the maximum when you are inside the water? He said, well, I wanted air. The secret of success is that air. Have you understood? Have you understood? Like the way you wanted air when you are inside the water, because without air you wouldn't have survived. Same way, if you want to achieve something in life, your hard work, your diligence, your effort, midnight oil, burning the midnight oil, will always come to your rescue. There is no other alternative, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because now I am going to tell you something. It is more than seven minutes. I'll ask you a question. In contemporary world, how do you understand their success? Promotion? Job? Placement? Increment? Some allowances being given? Am I right? Yes or no? Do you know that there was a very serious study carried out in Harvard University? It is attributed to that study. They saw any job, any increment, any promotion, any kind of recognition, 85% times, 85% times were because of one important factor. That I'll tell you later, what is that factor. But 15% time, only one five percent time was responsible for success. And that, what is that 15% time? Your marks, like I've got 75%, more than 75% in all the post-graduation. You would be touching 99.99 percentile or something like that, isn't it? 100.3. Facts, figures, you mug up all this. That study report highlighted one important thing. That all our parents, they spend 100% of money for this 15, to give you 15% of success or job or increment or recognition. They do not spend any money for that 85% of times which gives you the ultimate success. What is that 85% time? Anybody? Yes? Don't worry, we have come to an end. We'll finish off. Because he doesn't have slides. He's showing only one slide. I wanted to show you something else. 85% times job, promotion, <coughs> increment, recognition, allowances, deputation. 85% time, there was something special. What is that? And your parents don't attach any importance, nor do you attach any importance, nor the faculties, nor the leadership. 
बोलो आप पढ़े लिखे हो सब वट इज दी फाइव परसेंट शुड आई टेल यू इट्स नोन एज हा के गुड कैरेक्टर ओके गिव अ बिग राउंड ऑफ एप्लॉज ये स्टेशन यू बैक टू कैरेक्टर I want to take you to something else other than character. There is something very important. Give him, a, give him a big round. Well done. One more minute. Okay, you deserve one. Dedication, sir. Who said dedication? Big round of applause. What's what's your name, little girl? Yes. Monisha. Sorry. Monisha. Monisha, you are beautiful looking. You are very smart. That's why the backbencher has stood up finally. If a backbencher is standing up, that means no one is going to sleep. Am I right? Sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. That eighty-five percent, ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand to her. is nothing but something very special known to all of us but we ignore it it is called as positive attitude positive attitude to say one time ladies and gentlemen i would have loved to engage with you one on one is nothing but again five issues what are those positive attitudes i borrowed one from here and added there in the character to save on time ladies and gentlemen you have care you have compassion you have confidence each one is a book you can't have confidence unless you know your subject you can't know your subject unless you have studied hard you can't study hard unless you have burned the midnight oil following a routine so i have said care compassion confidence what else persistence is persistence is wo character mein aata hai consistency not bad you are good what else humility 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 what else we stop at that we stop at that you can google up you can find out but this is way different from what we have been thinking i always thought my son is also studying he did his masters in ucla los angeles he is working with the apple he is a senior software engineer level 4 he keeps on asking me papa kal mera boss ka boss ka meeting hai what should i do i said attitude what is the meaning of attitude papa promotion hona hai mera with attitude smile Who did this smile? Confidence. You cannot put up a smile on your face unless you're confident, unless you have knowledge about the subject. There is a distinction between knowledge, wisdom, a uh, lot of things. Time doesn't permit. So I leave it at that. I hope it will stimulate your thought process. But I let me ask you a question to go into the third stage of my talk. Are you a soldier? Who's a soldier? Are you a soldier? Who's a soldier, ladies and gentlemen? Are you a soldier? Stand up. Are you a soldier? Is a soldier, young lady? Are you a soldier? Yes. Stand up. You? No. She says no. I can't be a soldier. No, no, no. Soldier is bullet kill. AK forty seven. No. Can you be a soldier, little girl? You? Are you a soldier? Just stand up. Say loudly that I am not a soldier. Take the mic. Just give her the mic. Louder. I am not a soldier. Little louder. I am not a soldier. More louder. I am not a soldier. Loudest. I am not a soldier. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I want to tell you that thing that each one of you. अरे चुप हो गया. ताली मारो ना. You need courage to have character. This girl has got the courage to 
her the character to say what she felt. But I want to disprove this to each and every one of you that unless each and every one of you is a soldier, you cannot survive, you cannot have sound sleep, you cannot think positively, you cannot do anything for one institution which is the master institution for all of us. You, your faculty member, your uh, chancellor, your pro-chancellor, your uh, <coughs> Dr. Naran Swami. There is one pillar for which all of us are dedicated. A Chaiwala is a soldier. A Dhobi is a soldier. A newspaper vendor is a soldier. वो चटपटा जो बना के देता है वो भी सोल्जर है जो माइक लिया वो भी सोल्जर टू गर्ल्स ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल्स हु एंकर्ड देवर सोल्जर्स वन हु सेड शी इज नॉट अ सोल्जर शी कैन नॉट बी शी हर्सेल्फ इज अ सोल्जर अ सोल्जर इज वन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वन हु डेडिकेट्स हिज लाइफ फॉर वन सुप्रीम फैक्टर देयर इज नथिंग ग्रेटर और बिगर देन दैट सुप्रीम फैक्टर व्हिच इज दैट फैक्टर We all are accountable and responsible for that supreme factor, and we are expected to give our best for that supreme factor. Stand up, give a mic to him. And you are stood up too many times. Let, let, uh, okay. Who's the supreme factor? Yes, girl, young, beautiful girl. Yes, what's your name? I'm sorry, don't mind. This is very bad manner of pointing finger. Yeah, give a mic. Who is that supreme factor for which each one of us is supposed to work? The army way of institution building is also linked to that. The next part is also linked to that becoming a high flyer. Who is that? Which is that supreme factor? Yes, young girl. So life. Life, give her a big hand. Not bad. Jinda rahoge tab to kuch karoge. Life se aur bhi important hai health. Survival! Give a big hand to him! What else, ladies and gentlemen? Who said country? Stand up. Give the mic to him. Unfortunately, he cannot show the slide. I had got a slide downloaded from the internet. That is the soldier's motto. Every officer who gets commissioned Oh, very great! Give a big round of applause. Eh? <laughs> Is it Jaipri sitting there? Whoever, okay, okay, you are wonderful. You have done done a great job, ladies and gentlemen. A soldier when he gets training and passes out from Indian Military Academy, he is meant to take a pledge for these three things. There is nothing bigger. Nothing greater, nothing larger than your nation. Am I right? Are you all in agreement with this? I have got a bullet in my knee. Do you know? Can you make out? You can't make out. Can you make out? No. Can't you make out that I'm dragging my right feet? No. I have come all the way from Jaipur just to talk to you. I have a brother-in-law who is a special child, nobody to look after. I left him there because I am dedicating my life <laughs> for the future of the nation. My wife is there in USA. My son, Apple, daughter-in-law, doing PhD in Penn State. Daughter, masters in economics. Nobody is there. If something happens to Papa, you fend for yourself. You all are there. If I fall down, I am very confident. All of you will come and pick me up. Am I wrong or right? No, nobody will come and pick up. I am just making a life-making lesson. Learn how to face criticality all by yourself. Don't expect anybody to come to your rescue and help. Then you are a soldier. You are a soldier only when you dedicate your life. The safety, honor, welfare of your country comes first, always and every time. Wherever we are, you will have some colleagues. There will be some people above you. There will be some people under you. Okay. The second thing is talking about people who are under you. You are a leader. When I went to South 
Africa, Johannesburg Airport, I saw a huge billboard. On the top of the billboard, there was a picture of Nelson Mandela. Below the picture of the Nelson Mandela, there was a quotation. Please sit down, just to save on time, you would reply correctly. There was a line written, successful leaders lead from the front. What did it say? Successful leaders? <coughs> Little louder? You are off front, you are ready to take the bullet on your chest. Will you do it? Where is the little girl who said he's, she's not a soldier? Will you take the bullets right in front line? My question is, you are leader of a group. The group is being subjected to intense firing. Do you have the courage to go in front of the group and stand up like this, take the bullets on your chest? Ulu, give a big round of applause. A little louder. What's your name? Anupam. Anju. How is such a turnaround? You cannot be a soldier. Now you're saying you'll take the bullets on your chest. If you are a soldier, you are a soldier, ladies and gentlemen. The men under your command, wherever you are. The second line. That will make you the army way of a leader. The third is, if you are still left with some time, say. All right? Besides all these, ladies and gentlemen, keeping in view the time available, we have how much? Nine minutes left now? Nine more minutes? You need to have a routine in your life. Predictable routine. Unless there is a routine in life, you will not be able to anticipate. Your efficiency takes a quantum jump. If you know that tomorrow morning you have to get up, I do 35 kilometer cycling every day. Do you do? Do you do? You? Who does 35 kilometers or 10 kilometer run? Or two kilometers run? Two, 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 two. Run for 10 miles. The soldier's other definition is the soldier has to have sound sleep at night. If you do not have sound sleep, your days goes for a six. You can have sound sleep, ladies and gentlemen, provided you subject your body to minimum of one hour fatigue exercise. Human body requires one hour of fatigue. Drink at least, if not more, minimum. 80 is the average. Weight divided by 10 minus 2. I've just given you an example. You put your figure, body weight there, divided by 10 minus 2, whatever figure you get, multiply that by four glasses, those many glasses. I require 24 glasses of water. I drink coffee, tea, fruit juice, everything, eight to nine glasses. So how do I make up 15? Drink lots of water. <coughs> Have your last meal before the sunset. Hit your bed. Let us by 9 o'clock. Get up early. That will make you a predictable, efficient leader. But Nelson Mandela also had one beautiful picture on that huge canvas. That picture was a shepherd chasing a flock of sheep. Below that, there was another interesting quotation. It said, just to save on time, Upar kya likha wata? successful leaders lead from the and niche kya likha hoga? Effective leaders lead from behind. The strength of your group will be decided by the weakest link in the team. If somebody is not listening or responding to you or taking ponga with you, doesn't mean you'll stab him on the back. He also is a important part of your team. Why? Because let me take your mind back to Andrew Kennedy. You heard about Andrew Kennedy? I mean, now you people are sleeping. Has anyone heard about this gentleman, Carnegie? You heard? Andrew Carnegie is a Scottish guy from Scotland. Okay. He went to US. Roadside man. In nine months' time, he had 43 millionaires. One million of dollar is hell of a lot today. In 1911, he became the largest steel producer. 
one of the leading university business school students went to interview what was the secret of his success how did he manage 43 millionaires in just over nine months time he said secret of success is something like digging a pounds of gold an ounce of gold when you dig for an ounce of gold you dig up a lot of dirt if you are looking at the dirt you will not find the gold if you are aiming at the gold you will discard or disregard the dirt that is the way the human relationship is to be fostered as a leader. There are many other things. Be like an eagle. There will be criticism. You will be standing apart. You will be alone. Akale chalore. Okay? And nobody will be there to support you. Expect no support from anybody. Keep calm. Learn how to fall forward. All these things, if you people call me next time, maybe I'll come and speak to you. Each, every word I'm speaking is a lecture by itself. So today, I'll stop here. There is actually a clip on Eagle. You have? Go to the next slide. Okay, can you click it? Just for 30 seconds. Because just to seven time, you have clicked it. There is a crow which is... Listen to it. I had to share with you all. The image, as you can see, is of a crow sitting on the back of an eagle. The crow is biting the eagle as it's flying, high in the sky. The story says the only bird that will dare peck at an eagle is the crow. The crow sits on the eagle's back and bites his neck. Now listen to this. The eagle does not respond or fight with the crow. It simply opens up its wings and begins to rise higher and higher in the sky. The higher the eagle flies, the harder it is for the crow to breathe. And then, due to lack of oxygen, the crow falls away and the eagle is free. What's the moral of the story? Stop wasting. Just to say one time, how, how did you like it? When you clap, the lawyer. How often have you downloaded this and seen? How often? You would have thought of it. So I'm trying to channelize your energy to this particular issue. Those of you who want to rise above others, make no comparison with others, compare everything within yourself. Comparison itself is a judgmental energy. The moment you compare, that's what I need to find out how does he walk? What shoe is he wearing? Oh my god, what a sneaker. I am bloody next. One percentile, point one zero one. Do not compare. It will make you defeat as a leader. A leader is a person who is able to walk straight like a ramrod with his held head high. Despite the fact that he's got bullets on his chest, bullets on the knee. A leader is one person who is very clear and objective in his approach in life. A leader is one person who knows the end state, what he wants to achieve. The rest all things will fall in place, the winds to the end. A leader is one person, ladies and gentlemen, to save on time. Go next. Next slide. Because there is no time for question and answer. Do you have any questions? <coughs> A leader is one person who has curiosity in his mind, questions. He must seek answers. It's not always relevant and prudent to ask questions in open forum because the moment you ask a question, pitch is a bowling, a beer bottle asks. Beer pita, na? pita? You don't take beer? Are you sure? So, what is the usual way of celebrating? Coffee? Cappuccino? How do you celebrate? To sort out your friend who has asked a question at the lunch hour, how do you sort out? In army, we have a style, you know, you can a bottle beer lagauska. Che bottle. One bottle is costing around how much? Hundred rupees? So six hundred gone. Another six, likewise. It piles up. Don't practice if it is not your norm. What I am saying is have curiosity. Ask questions. 
but to save on time, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are desperate want to ask any question, I'll I'll take five questions, quick questions. Okay, only five. Three from girls, two from boys. Sir, may I? First boys, okay. Sir, my name is Sharan Babu from the second year of MBA. As from my experience... Take the mic, I can hear. I know what question you'll ask. Give the mic to him. <coughs> Sir, my name is Sharan Babu from the second year of yeah, MBA. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, as per my experience of the SSP Army interview in Prayagrat, sir, that has completely built our character, our motivation, and everything which is really helpful for now. So, as your experience as also being an interviewer and also your experience as a soldier, uh, do you think that the interview process of SSP, the way they train us, that can be implemented in the institution for overall development of an individual? Very good, Sharon. Excellent question. The quick answer to this is yes. What was restricted only to the armed forces? Now that I have said ki each one is a soldier, a Chaiwala is a soldier, Narendra Modi is a soldier, defense minister is a soldier, I am a soldier as it is, there is no harm. There are 15 officer-like qualities, leadership qualities, what he's talking about. I used to take cost-free lectures online. Out of 25,000, I am told 160 or 50 students have got through SSB, they have joined NDA, IMA, OTA. There are 15 officer-like qualities that he is talking of. Shouldn't we make it public? I am with you. It should be made public. Thank you. Next. Sir, my name is Sharan Babu from the second year of MBA. One question gone. Four more. Let's have some good-looking, beautiful girl, smart girl. All of you. All the girls are smart here. Hello, sir. Yes. Louder. Beta, you have said that you are standing in front of me. The price doesn't have me. Yes, tell me. Okay, so our generation gives up on things when it gets harder. So what is the key to stay positive in the difficult times? Excellent question. Give a big hand to Suman, you said? Monisha. Monisha. Very good question, ladies and gentlemen. In response to her question, let me just quickly say that this human body is an electrode. Do you all know? 90 to 95 percent of energy emitted by the body is negative energy. How many of you knew about this? No? Happy, kabi kabi khada karo. Acha, nobody. All black men. So that means I am. I am happy. I have achieved my break today. Good. Sixty-six to sixty-seven thousand thoughts flip through the human mind in twenty-four hour cycle. Two billion neurons are constantly in state of activity. Anything which is in motion will generate electrons. Electrons are negatively charged. So, your body is negatively charged. It's an electron. So, unless you make a consistent and persistent effort, ladies and gentlemen, to train yourself, like the way you have morning tea, your breakfast, your lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, in the same manner, if you do not say no, 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 no to negative thoughts, you will always be bombarded. Learn how to see the glass as half full of water and half full of air. The day you say that dusro ke saath judgment karke chit 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 those of you who are married, faculty members, I am having a miserable time in my house. My wife pushes me out. So I said, Ki, if I am going out, you also come along. Both of us go for cycling, 35 kilometers. So, 5 kilometers, choo, 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 and thereafter everything falls down. You have to make consistent effort to convert negative into positive energy. So, how do you make that effort? You make that effort by thinking positively. By looking at the gold, Andrew Cannes is gold. If you do not have, if you cannot help somebody, you have no right to help somebody. <laughs> If you can't see the gold in a person, it is detrimental, destructive to see dirt in anybody. There are problems every time. I have told you, Akele Cholori, learn how to walk alone if you want to be a successful and effective leader. The moment you think, Papa, Mommy, okay, my daughters, you know, in UT Austin, 
they have this American football, compulsory, very rough game. So I told her, your papa has got this injury, I can't walk, don't, this is a very rough game, don't play with the boys. So me and my wife, we flew back to San Jose. By the time we reached our son's place, bhai behen ke beech mein rona dhona ho raha, papa bol ke liye toh wohi wa Allah. क्या हुआ चोर के सला एसीएल टीयर लिगमेंट टीयर और भाई तेरे को बोला था क्यों गया फुटबॉल ग्राउंड में कि पापा क्या बोलूं पीए प्रेशर आके उठा के लेके उधर खेलने के लिए यू हैव टू डिसाइड योर कोर्स व्हिच पाथ टू टेक मदर केम रशिया यू स्पेंड सेवेन लैक्स फॉर इंडिया ऑपरेशन ओवर देयर इट केम टू Channelize your energy, make your routine predictable, eat, control your diet, a good sleep, good fatigue, talk positive about everyone. Uh, even if somebody is grumpy, you said, you are looking very smart, you are talking about God, you are talking about I started a culture in army during our Parakram. For 11 months, the troops were deployed. The chief of the army staff was General Padmanavan. I was, this is Bangalore, no? You know Rajasthan? You know there is a place called Badwell district? You must have heard Badwell. There is a place called Kellor. I had just taken over as a commanding officer. There are lots of suicide cases, fratricide, a lot of camel going into the minefield, blowing up the lakes and all. So chief of the army staff said, Sudhakar, I said, yes, sir. Kya kare? We need to do something. Okay, what is it, sir? Too many cases in the army. 14 lakh population. Every day, firing there, firing here, mine is blasting, discipline has gone out of the way. Can you give a solution? A leader is expected to be a solution provider, ladies and gentlemen. If you cannot give a solution, do not go to your boss with a problem. Learn how to say no without, without, Without? Learns how to say no without saying so. Likho na, likhe rakho. Ye usu lo. Ladies and gentlemen, what I wish to cover in last two or minutes is be a solution provider, smile, and silence. If you can't give a solution to a problem, remain silent. Don't open your mouth. In times of crisis, you will come across storms coming your way. Put your head down. For God's sake, do not open your mouth. We get into problems by opening your mouth. Therefore, the old saying, silence will always help you to avoid problems. Smile will always contribute. Do. Resolve problems. <coughs> Last but not the least, ladies and gentlemen, time is at premium. <clears throat> Einstein said a beautiful thing. Intelligent people are those who find solutions to the problems. But geniuses, 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 they help you to prevent the problem. So are you a genius or you're an intelligent person? Do you wish to be a genius person? Bolona Joe said, do you wish to be a genius or intelligent? Genius. Do you wish to be a genius or just an intelligent person? Little louder. Genius or intelligent? Genius or intelligent? Ladies and gentlemen, we'll save those two or three. Have I answered your question with them? No. Yes, sir. Thank you. Better. But I can go on and on, untiringly. I have something going on there, I got to be present. Okay, so a lot of, yeah, we have another girl standing up. It was a representation parliament, sir, I the army general, he gave chances to boys and only one girl. Come on. Any girl who wants to ask any question, meaningful, substantive question. Better time than you are standing up, you are going to ask a question. <laughs> or leaders' eyes have to be open. Wide angle, panning camera. 
You should be capable of seeing or visualizing what is happening. Yes, yes, Peter. Uh, good morning, sir. My name is Bhumika, second year MBA. Yeah. My question is, a small country like South Korea, they implemented compulsory thing where youth have to uh, serve for their nation for minimum of two years. Uh, and India is full of youths. So why can't we, uh, as an Indians, uh, implement these kind of rules? Give a big round of applause. Let us only come. Immediately after your MBA, you please join as an Agnivir officer's card. Okay? Yes. Ah, give your number, I'll put you there. But you got to qualify in the SSB. SSB is not a very easy job. No, sir. Or they have to compulsory serve. Like I know. I know, yeah. I know. I know. So that even we will, uh, you know, follow the discipline and all. Okay. Quick answer to the question that you've asked is, South Korea cannot be compared with India. India is a country with population of 1.428 billion people. Your per capita income is 2,281 rupees or dollars. South Korea, GDP, you know it's a tiny country. Our GDP is 3.74, 3.74 trillion. It is a small country. It is, I think, 1 point some trillion. Per capita is very high. Plus, the work culture is different. What you are suggesting, what you have in the mind, it could be a desirable output, a desirable objective. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. We'll finish off. And the final takeaways, two slides. Thank you. Well done. I hope I have answered your question partly, if not. Final takeaway. Next slide. I'll not say anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, both the slides are important. This slide will always stand you in good state. 10% of life is what happens to you. 90% is how you react. Much of your problems will be created by none other than yourself. You are the troubleshooter. You will create a problem. You will not be able to find a solution. Therefore, when the entire planet is covered with mud, do not go to put a carpet over the entire planet. Buy a pair of gum boots. Protect yourself. Find a solution. Thank you so much. I hope I've been able to do justice in this, this time. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who feel, last question, ladies and gentlemen, out of 10, you're going back with more than five good points. Raise your hands. Down. Those who feel that you're going back with at least eight good points out of 10 good points. Eight. Very small number. Those of you who feel who are going back with seven good points out of ten. All right. I've got the I've got the feedback. Did you like the talk? Yes, Did you enjoy it? Yes, Anyone who has got any critic, any severe critic to improve, because I keep going to places, depending on the the qualification of the students, I change the subject and the content. Okay, so any one of you who is a very serious critic of what I have said today for my own improvement, please stand up, have the courage, nothing will happen. I would take it with a great salutation and a great recognition. No comments? So, so I have no one if it's Five Ps, be polite in life, be positive. Be patient, be practical, be progressive. Three T's, avoid three T's. Tongue, temperament, temptation. Avoid them. Self-confidence, have self-confidence in yourself. Self-confidence, or Bishwas Bhutana, trust. Trust in your body, select your body. It could be a wife, it could be a girlfriend, it could be a boyfriend, it could be a stone, it could be a temple, it could be a mother. You must have somebody with whom you can go and vomit out. Okay? Have confidence or trust in your superiors. Have confidence in the organization. And last but not the least, uske ijazat ke bina pate nahi hinte. Trust him. God is there. Okay? Last but not the least. Thank you. A big thank you.
it was indeed a great session, sir. Thank you so much for giving us such an informative and enlightening insights about the Army way of institution building. First and foremost, I would like to thank our Honorable Chancellor in absentia for supporting and facilitating such a lecture series. It gives me immense pleasure to thank our today's doyen, Major General Sudhakarji, for his time and valuable insights. Thank you, sir. I also thank Dr. Shubha A. in absentia for providing us with this wonderful opportunity. I also thank Dr. Narayan Swami for his support for this event. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank all the dignitaries for joining us today. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the faculty members, staff and students of Reva Business School for their cooperation. Thank you all.